This tutorial will guide you through how to create a WebMix using Symbaloo EDU. Once you have created your Symbaloo EDU account and you are logged in, you will notice in the top right corner you hover over and it will show your name. There will be some pre-identified tabs created by Symbaloo EDU, for example the home and the tools. Symbaloo EDU allows you to create bookmarks that makes it easy for your students to get to sites. So if I clicked on this ABC, uh, notice how it opens up in a new tab. It makes it easy for my students to work on that site. And then once they're ready to return back to the WebMix, they simply X out and it returns them back to the Symbaloo EDU WebMix. These tabs can be hidden or deleted. So if I come over here to these three little tab lines over here and drop this down, it says My WebMixes. This shows all of the WebMixes in my account. The ones that are locked are the ones that were created by other people. The ones without locks are some that I have created. So if I choose to have a tab hidden, I would simply just go to that tab and click the X. It's no longer showing up here, but it's still in my WebMix list. And I can always come here and click on Tools and make it reappear. To delete a, a WebMix that you no longer need, so I've created this little test WebMix that I've not done anything with. If I no longer need this, I click on that tab and I do remove and yes, delete this forever. And that WebMix is out of there. Today you're going to create a new WebMix. I'm going to show you the options section first. No, let's do the plus sign. So we're going to do a new WebMix. And I'm going to call my web mix Louisiana Facts. And I'm going to click Add. So here is my new web mix, and there it is, Louisiana Facts. Before I begin, I'm going to go to Options. In Options, I can do a couple of things. I could rename my web mix, I could change my wallpaper. Now, they give you some choices that you can choose here, or you can upload an image. If you upload an image, it does have to be a 1600 by 1200 image. It likes the larger size. Or you could select one of these to work from. So I'm just going to just kind of keep my web mix like it is. The thing about changing the wallpaper is when you share the URL of your web mix, that wallpaper may or may not show from the URL. So that's optional whether you change your wallpaper or not. I am going to change my web mix size because I really don't want this many tiles. So I'm going to click on change web mix size and I'm going to reduce the sizes just by clicking my X. The smallest that you can get your web mix is a 16 by 16, and that's what you're going to do for your assignment. So I'm now going to X out of this, and I'm ready to begin my web mix. So first of all, I can use this Google search. This is here to help you locate your sites. So I'm going to type in Louisiana Facts. My students are going to be doing some research on Louisiana, and I have certain sites that I want them to use. So I'm going to do a search, and it brings up all of these sites dealing with Louisiana facts. I'm going to go to this one first, Louisiana State Facts at 50states.com. This is perfect for my students to get information from. So I'm going to click in this URL box. I'm going to make a copy of that URL, and I'm going to come back to my Symbaloo tab, and I'm going to click on one of my tiles. I'm going to go here to Add a new tile. This box pops up. I'm going to click on create a tile. I'm going to right click and paste that URL there. Now what it's going to do, it's going to try and pick up the name of the site. So as I click here, you can see that it's tried to name it for me and it's also tried to give me a tile picture. So I'm going to just kind of shorten this name a little bit. I just want it to be called 50states.com. So I'm going to rename it. I want my name to show, so I'm going to show text. And the button is perfect. It automatically picked up a button for me. So I'm going to click on Save. And now I've created my first tile to 50states.com. Let's do another one. I'm going to click Search. 
And this time, I'm going to go to this one that says Louisiana, let's see, Louisiana Fun Facts. Notice how you have several tabs opening up. You want to try to remember to close these tabs out as you're going. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that 50states.com. And now I'm looking at my Louisiana Fun Facts. I'm going to click to highlight the URL, make a copy. I'm going to come back to my Symbaloo. I'm going to add a new tile, create a tile, paste my URL. Again, it tries to uh, pick up a name for my tile, which says Louisiana Fun Facts, but notice what my tile image looks like. So I can, sometimes it even allows you to kind of edit the tile picture. So I'm going to click on this, and it's going to open up, and I'm going to actually open up my little image, and I like that. Or you notice that you can upload your own image. I'm going to use this selection for my tile and I'm going to click Save. Oops, let me right click and edit. And again, sure, let's just give this one a color because it didn't stick. Oh, there it goes, it's there now. So I have Louisiana icon. I want it to show text and now I'm going to click save. I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to do another search. And this time I want to go to this enchanted learning site. Again, you don't want too many tabs open so I'm going to close this one out and I'm at my Louisiana Facts. I'm going to right click, make a copy of that URL, come back to my Symbaloo and I'm going to add a new tile. and paste it. Again, it does try to name it for me. So I'm going to rename this and I just want to call this one Enchanted Learning. I'm going to show my text. But notice how it picked up like the advertisement or whatever from this site. And I don't really have anything better to work with. I could upload an image, but I'm going to go here to choose an icon for my tile. There's several categories you can choose from. Badge, sticker, ABC, black and white, color. I'm going to go to blue because I remember seeing a picture of a globe. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to select a color. Let's see if it lets me change a color. And now I'm going to click Save. Now you need to do at least eight sites. And then you can do eight images. So I'm going to show you how to click and do an image next. So I'm going to go back to my Symbaloo site. And this time I'm going to get rid of the word Facts and I'm going to do images. And I'm going to do a search. And let's say I want to find a map of Louisiana. So here's a good map of Louisiana. I'm going to click and open this one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the image URL. I'm going to come back to my symbol loop. I'm going to put my images over here, so I'm going to click to add, create a tile, paste my URL, and this one is called Louisiana Map. I'm going to have my text to show. Notice how it picks up the icon of an image. I'm going to select the color and save. I'm going to do one more image to show you. I'm going to do another search. I still have images in Louisiana. This time I'm going to go and get the state flag. There we go. I'm going to right click, copy image URL, come back to my Symbaloo account, click to add, create a new tile, paste that URL, and I could give my URL a color. Notice how it still has the little image icon. I want to show text, and this is the Louisiana flag, and I'm going to click Save. 
So I'm going to continue until I have 16 tiles filled, whether they are URLs or to images, for my students to use for a unit of study. Once you are done, you want to make sure that you share your web mix. So I'm going to come up here to this icon that says share. And it's called Louisiana Facts. I could give it a description saying what this web mix is used for. I could share it publicly, which means it would be available through the Simplu EDU gallery, or I could keep it private for my friends. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and click share my web mix. And notice now that I have a URL to this web mix. So I could actually copy this URL, URL and I could share this URL with my students, my parents, my coworkers for them to be able to view my web mix. For you, you will be pasting this URL into the Blackboard and you will say how you plan to use this web mix with your students. At any time if you come back to edit your URL, you always have to come back to share. If you've made any changes, you want to do update your web mix. The changes will automatically take place. That concludes this tutorial on using Simbaloo EDU.